Hey, what's up guys? In this week's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own incredible visual music videos, just like Trap Nation videos, that look a bit like this. As well as incredible visual clips that go on your Instagram as well, that would look a bit like this. And much, much more, without the need of any software at all, any technical knowledge, any artistic knowledge at all, really. And it's all done quickly and easily using one website. Are you interested? Let's get into it. Roll intro. And by the way, this intro was also made using this website. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put you out of your misery and tell you that the website that I use to create these incredible graphics is called videobolt.net. And hopefully you can see just by the couple of clips I've shown you so far in this video, how ridiculously powerful this website is. Now, in a second, I'm gonna jump on the website and actually show you how stupidly simple it is to make these videos. But I did wanna take a moment to tell you that this video has actually been sponsored by Videobolt. But I would have shown you this anyway, in all honesty, because it's so fun and easy to use. And I will definitely be using this for all of my music videos moving forward. So without further ado, let's jump on the uh, computer and I'm gonna show you this website. Okay guys, so here we are on Video Bolt. So first thing I wanna kind of stress to you guys is even though this website is incredible at creating those kind of music visualizers, so to speak, um, and it has literally about 70 different templates, I think. The vi this website actually does way more than just that. You can use it to create like intros for your YouTube videos. You can use it to create amazing visuals for your YouTube channel, whether you're posting it on your story or whether you're posting it in your actual Instagram feed. You can use it to create visuals for like people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Um, it's honestly, the list goes on and on. There's over 600 videos on this website. So that's the main thing I wanna tell you about is this isn't just for music videos. You can do so much more with it. So when you land on the website, you'll see kind of different sections with different thumbnails underneath. And the first thing you'll notice is the second you scroll over a thumbnail, it starts to play showing you exactly what that graphic visualization would actually look like. But at the moment, I just wanna run down the website and show you some different things. So at the top, you've got the newest templates that have just been added in. Then you've got some videos that you've currently been kind of playing with, which I'll show you more of that in a second. You've got other kind of very popular templates that people have been using. And by the way, if you wanna scroll through, you just hit this button here and you can scroll through and you can see hundreds and hundreds of different videos. You've got a whole section just for the music visualizers down here. So this is for the people who wanna upload their tracks and just have them create this kind of graphical image while people listen. And again, you can go through and sample them just by scrolling over. And of course, the main thing which I have to say in case you didn't realize it, is these music visualizers go perfectly to the music you've uploaded. So if there's a big heavy drop in your song, the, the graphics will go crazy at that point, perfectly to the beat. It's not like a random graphic in the background. It goes perfectly to the music that you are creating. Okay, so we go down a bit further, then you can see different intros for things like YouTube. So if you wanted to create a really professional intro to your YouTube video, you can come down and just check out loads of these. And like I said, there's just hundreds you can scroll along. Then you've got different stories for your Instagram as well. So you can come and just check out some of these. Um, 4K templates, different types of promotions down here. They've even got things for like gaming and stuff like that. So if you kind of like, came along to see more. You can see all these different kind of gaming style intros and stuff like that as well. So there's absolutely tons. So now we've had a look at the different sections on the website, let me show you how ridiculously easy it is to go ahead and edit one of these templates. So let's say you wanted to make your own music visualizer and you find a template that you quite like, like this. You just go ahead and you click on the thumbnail like this and instantly what will happen is it'll bring up different kind of themes to this template. So you're not just restricted to this one. You could say, well, actually I want it to be a bit more like this and it'll show like a more yellowy one or different kind of themes, okay? Now, when you found one you like, all you've got to do is come down and hit this green button that says edit and whatever the name of the video is, colorful trap, right? So you open it up like this. And then at this point you can go in and you can edit every single element. But to start with, you wanna just cover the basics. So the first things you wanna do is upload your song. 
Now that's easy enough, you just come over to this section here that says text and media, and it says song, and you hit this, upload button. And the best thing about this is you can upload uh, an audio file from your computer, or if you've uploaded your track to SoundCloud, you can just go and connect this to your SoundCloud account, and bring your tracks in from SoundCloud, which is awesome for all the people out there who may have a full SoundCloud account, but you haven't got those songs on YouTube yet. This is a really awesome way for you to do it. The next thing you can do, put in uh, artist information and stuff like that. So, you know, you obviously uh, you can change things like the background here. So for example, if you did a remix of someone's track, you could potentially put that artist in the picture in the background or something like that. You can change the logo in the middle uh, by just uploading whatever your logo is or just creating one and adding it there. Um, and then at that point, the file will have your song, it'll have the background, it'll have your logo. But it doesn't stop there. You can go into huge detail with this. So I'm just gonna see, go through these options on the left hand side. This one here, which will allow you to change up the theme, which we went through a second ago. This one in here, you can go into huge amounts of detail. So I'm actually gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. Background is the background image, but you can add effects to it, like a bit of blur, and you can also say whether you want the image to scale. So as the song is kind of beating, you can get the background image to jump a little bit as well there. You can choose the color of the particles that are floating on top of the image. So as you know with these videos, there's often like little particles in the background. They're also pulsating. Well, you can change the color of those particles. The audio spectrum, which is this thing here, which has these different colors, you can come in and change the order of the colors there. So if you wanted to make that all like a solid green, you could just change them all to green. So you can really go into insane detail, into just small details like this timeline as well there's a little black line that goes around the outside of this circle as the song is playing you can change the color of that you can change the cover art and different details there as well um, and then this is also interesting spectrum this will change the frequency that it's kind of reacting to so around the 20 hertz would be more of a bass that's beating which is like i make a lot of like bass heavy music so i want the spectrum to react to the bass but you know, you could have it react to the highs instead. If you didn't feel like it was booming enough, you can actually change this so it kind of is twice as big or four times as big, so you can make it seem really huge if you wanted to. There is so much, it's just unbelievable. So that's pretty much everything. Then you've got a history here, so you can go through the history and just change stuff if you wanted to go back to your previous adjustment. And then there's like a help section here, so if you've got any issues or anything like that you can get in touch and they're really quick getting back as well so it's literally as simple as that and then once you do this and every time you make a change it will render a small image up here to show you what that new change would look like for example if you added a new background once you've finished making changes to your video all you've got to do is come up to this green button up here click that which will create a small section of the video for you to watch back to check it's all right but it will have a watermark on it and as long as you're happy with it, you then hit that green button again, which would render out the entire project without the watermark on it for you to go and use. And it literally is as simple as that. You don't need any software, you just need access to the internet. And just so you guys know as well, you just click yes to leave this. If you were to go and get any of the templates, so if you wanted to do an Instagram story, it's equally, it's exactly the same thing. It's equally as simple. You just go through, you can select different images, you can change all the parameters, and then you can just render out the project file when you're done with it. So there you go guys, that's Video Bolt on there, an absolutely awesome website that I'm gonna be using a lot more of over the next couple of years. If you're interested, I've left some links underneath this video so you can go and check out their website, Facebook page, Instagram, stuff like that. And also, like this video and comment. Tell me what you thought about Video Bolt. Is this something that you would be interested in using as well? Let me know. Finally, I just wanna say, if you like videos like this and you wanna see more of them, make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting this button here and hitting the bell notification so you get told about my future videos. Hit this button down here if you wanna go and watch some free live training on how to make your own incredible electronic dance music. And finally, hit this button below if you wanna go and watch one of these graphic videos that I actually made using Video Bolt. See you guys in next week's video.